I would like to thank the dignitaries uh, for being here and uh, I would like to thank uh, Madam Meena Ravichandran for giving students this wonderful opportunity. And uh, I am Nikhil, electrical engineering student from University College of Engineering, Osmani University. Today, on this, uh, today's theme of uh, Make in India, Science and Technology Driven Innovations, I would like to introduce my uh, product which I am working on, which, which is also, uh, I would like to be called as a Make in India product. It is also Science and Technology Driven Innovation. It is named as Risk to Watch with Smart Emergency Communication from for Women. It is a contribution to Make in India initiative. So, let us see the uh, scenario of crimes against women in India. Now, women, crimes against women in India it has become a hot topic of discussion in the news, media, in poli among politicians also, because the rate of increase in crimes. Let us see, I would like to show the statistics of uh, different types of crimes committed against India, how they are increasing year by year. So, there are different kinds of crimes committed against women. Among them, if we can see, this uh, abduction, which is nothing but kidnapping, is rising up to 200 percent. There is a whooping rise in the rate of this crime, this kind of crime. And the device which I am going to introduce to you now will uh, uh, give its uh, contribution to reduce this uh, abduction, this particular abduction. And uh, among all the types of crimes committed uh, in 2014 in India, this kidnapping and abduction counts for 17 percent. And uh, how I am going to encounter this? It's simply by using the wristwatches. How is it possible? Let us, uh, I would like to give some uh, small example. Let us take a girl walking on the road and she is encountered by kidnappers and was surrounded by them. She gets panicked. So the watch which I am going to introduce will have a small button besides the adjusting knob and she would have to press it thrice, three times. Then a miniature view, GPS module, GPS global positioning system, positioning system, which we are using in our mobile phones for tracking the coordinates, latitude and longitude. So the module will fetch the coordinates for every minute. Every minute it will be updating the coordinates and up it goes on up to 180 minutes. And these coordinates are related to the mobile or the communication system which we have established to the nearest police authorities. And our location is placed and delayed silently without any doubt to the culprits and she can be rescued soon. So, we might all have heard such kind of technologies are existing. I would like to make, a, I would like to give a brief comparison between the existing technology and my technology. The existing technology, now let us take smartwatches are available nowadays, Samsung smartwatch, Apple smartwatch, etc. This kind of smartwatches, they usually depend upon the mobile phone. Hence, there should be a Bluetooth connectivity between the watch and the mobile. And mobile, to give the communication, it requires some GSM, and the tower infrastructure, etc. And uh, there are also some other uh, standalone devices give a, uh, designed by many companies which have a GSM module, which, which ultimately requires a SIM. And the communication is possible only to recover tower communication. But the communication which I am going to provide here, it does not depend upon any GSM, no Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi, nothing else. It is directly a uh, device to device communication, which is also called as mobile ad hoc network communication. So, what does this watch has basically? So, the key which I said beside the adjusting knob and uh, inside the watch there is a miniature controller. This key is connected to the controller and there is a GPS module connected to the controller. And we require a timer circuit to ensure that it uh, fetches location for every one minute. And uh, there is a manet which is uh, abbreviation of mobile ad hoc networking which is connected to the controller. And power source is required for the whole circuit which is uh, powered by a high density lithium ion batteries. Usually we use lithium ion batteries in our mobile phones but the high density lithium ion battery will be size and small. So this is what ma manic means, mobile ad hoc network. Means you require communication from, communication is possible from phone to phone. You don't require any other infrastructure. So in our uh, conventional communication systems we have such kind of infrastructure. We have a tower, a satellite relay, etc. But by using this kind of uh, technology, I am going to eliminate this infrastructure. Because, for example, there is no uh, communication available at that uh, point of uh, incident. 
then it would be uh, you can't help her. The uh, system will be uh, cannot be used. And this kind of technology not only for uh, uh, this kind of application which I said, which is uh, it will be used for communication during emergency like uh, tsunami and earthquakes, uh, natural calamities. And this kind of technology presently is in use in space technology for vehicle to vehicle communication and uh, military applications also. So basically mobile and how network is, it is a self-configuring infrastructureless, autonomous, standalone wireless network architecture which can be deployed in no time and with less cost. You don't require any infrastructure cost to deploy this kind of network. So what if the destination is out of the watch, out of the reach of that watch? This is what happens. Let us, uh, source is what uh, we are having our watch. Suppose the destination, some police station let us say, it is out of its reach. The range is given by these blue dots. So what it does? So there will be number of people who will be wearing this kind of watches. So it will try to find the nearest watch we having. And it will be forming a chain link like this. From uh, here to here like this. And it goes to the destination however. So at the headquarters uh, or at the police station, there will be an application with GPS integrated with Google Maps at the headquarters to track the po position and movement of the victim. And uh, usually we find applications in uh, vehicle to vehicle communications to prevent, uh, prevent uh, accidents during heavy traffic and also in the military applications. Also. And uh, this application using managed communication technology is implemented. It is an indigenous application uh, and it is a new application with this technology. And it can be implemented with present day technologies at a low cost also. And uh, there is a challenge that small watches are usually small. And the circuit which I have shown the block diagram is very big. Is it possible to integrate it into the watch? Yes, it is possible. Thanks to the present day's latest integration technology. We are having laser lithography technology and many technologies are possible. By batch processing of these circuits, we can make it low cost also. And, but the size of the watch may be 50% bigger than the existing conventional watches. And uh, this is what I would like to be called as making India product. Thank you very much.